this tip's just a little one. This is um, for your website or your blog. I use this on my blog. I've been testing it out for just for over a week, nearly two weeks now. And it's this little map. Now, it's a pretty cool little feature. Um, I'll bring it up. You know, having a little revolving map certainly helps. I'll bring up this page first. As you can see, this is the uh, website I got it from. And what it does is it brings up pretty much when it, someone's visiting your site, it brings up where they are. As you can see they've got 20, I mean 203 people on it at the moment in this demo. And then it gives you the you know, total unique visits. So I mean look, it's a very simple little program, it's free. There is a paid version. Um, personally, I like the free version. Because right, what you can do is you can select uh, you know, what type of map you want. You can put the seasons in. Okay. Now, for instance, mine's got the red dots. I'll just go back to mine. So you can see where people visited in the last two weeks, where they're coming from. Okay, they're the red dots on mine. Okay. Quite interesting as it grows where people are coming from. So most people visit my website from the United States, even though I'm in Australia. <laughs> Okay, so that, that's basically the map. It's very simple to put in. All you need to do is copy and paste it onto your site. It's that simple. Um, you can change the colors, for instance, if you want to do that. Uh, as you can see here, it's going to change here. So it's come up blue. Alright, it's probably a better colour than what I've got. Uh, you can do pink. Do yellow. Alright, now we'll just go back to my site. Okay, that, that, that shows you where people have been. Just to give you a heads up, the flags show you when someone's on your site. So for instance, if we go back to mine, there's no one on it at the moment. I'll just refresh the page. And it's pretty much like the uh, the flag counter, apart from this is a bit cooler with the, the globe. I like having both of them on there. Um, as you can see on the flag counter, I've only sort of had it up for a couple of weeks, so I've had this one up for a few months. The other thing you can do, if you want to look at it in detail, you can rotate it. Anyone can do this on your site. You can spin it, you can reverse it. Yeah, you can enlarge it. Oh. What I did then was I went to the site, let's see a little icon. Okay, um, yeah, that's the enlarge button. Okay, so you sort of wanted to see who in the states, for instance, where they were from. Well, there's a cool p feature, it's something which attracts people to your page. Um, I quite like it, it seems to always work. You know, like, I just think it's a cool thing. And I'd also like to um, thank Bridget from Marketing Survival Skills team. I actually found this on her website, so credit to her. Um, I thought it was really cool when I saw it on there. This is Bridget here. All right, so I'll go to the step of how you get it. It's very simple. All right, let's go back to this page. Okay. Uh, 
No, I won't get into that. I was going to update mine, but what you do is copy and paste. <coughs> Alright, now if you're using WordPress, what you do is you go into your widgets. get there okay now you can name it what you want all right now all you do is you grab a text widget all right and move it over here okay let's say test okay copy it in Right, close it. I'll just refresh the page. One thing I've noticed with WordPress too sometimes is uh, sometimes things don't come up directly on my thing, they don't anyway. And what I do if they don't come up, I surf around my pages and I eventually find it's come up on another page. That's just a heads up whenever you put something in or you're changing your page. See, it hasn't come up there yet. I don't think. No. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll go to a, another bonus tips page. Yeah, it's just quirky. I don't know why. It might be just my theme, but when I do a lot of change ups it takes a while to come through oh, another one <laughs> I'm sure that's all I had to do wasn't it just add it in the sidebar Oh. Try refreshing this one this time. I'll put it about here, I think. Let's have a look. I think it's here. Maybe. <laughs> the one up here is the one I already have on there. What was going on? Where do I put it? Oh, hello. Text. Hang on. Thought I called it test. Anyway, we'll have a look. Test. You know, I did. I didn't save it. <clears throat> oh well, you learnt one thing about WordPress. We're not all perfect, and then you close it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try it again. But even so, that does happen to me. What happens to you? Just surf around your pages. First one. Okay, I'll go to another page. I believe it's better to see the problems than to hide them, so I won't cut and edit this. 
There it is, look. Okay, now that one is smaller. What have I done different? I'll go to this page. Oh, get mini globe. All right. Okay, so you can have a mini globe as well. You can get a plain map. Alright. Okay, so this is an earth ball. Okay. So same principle. Alright, just copy and paste. Select all. Copy and paste. Copy. Here you go. one in. Now this will come out just like the other one. Save. And push it back up. Alright, this should be identical to this one. Okay. Now, I'm going to another page. And don't worry if you don't see it on the on the first page, it will eventually come up on all your pages. Uh, someone said that to me when I was helping them uh, a few weeks back uh, with something else on their page. It didn't come up. There's the first one. There's the brand new one. Okay. Now take it's live data, so it takes a little while to come through. You can see the counter has started again. All right. Okay, where the counter on this one. There, as you can see. At the moment I've got two visitors, just to give you a good example. One is me in Australia. Alright. We're in Africa. Okay. So that's cool. And one thing I've noticed too, if you've got your page up. For instance, sometimes I'm working on my other computer. It actually live shows you what's going on. So if someone hops on, it clicks up the visits here. But it's a pretty cool free tool. Very easy. If you don't like it, ditch it. All right. Pretty simple. And that's that's the same thing with the with any of these. Um, if you want to get the flag counter, go to the tutorial on the flag counter. Uh, the tutorials are now all in the Learn with Dave category. Okay. <laughs> Down here. Alright. And there's one on the flag counter. But just to let you know, uh, the flag counter is a very similar sort of setup. And you copy and paste it in the same way I did this one. So you can just click on here and go to the flag counter if you want and, and get a copy of that too. So I'll just double check. Still there. I bet if I go to another page it's gone. Just to prove my point. Uh, if you have any uh, suggestions for bonus tips, feel free to Skype me, side Skype me or in the group. If you have anything you think might help someone, side Skype me and I'll um, have a look at it for you and see whether it's going to help other people. So you can see it's gone. Okay, so that's as easy as pie. If I wanted to put it back in, all I need to do is where it is. Alright, let's test. Test, test, test. I don't know where I'll put it. Anyway, it's in there somewhere. Just drag it across again. 
Okay, so this has been David Detman for Bonus Tips, and I hope this was helpful. I'm sure a lot of people just put this on. It should only take you about uh, oh, look, 10 minutes if you know what you're doing. You should know by the time you've, you've watched mine, uh, if you're using WordPress. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and please, as always, leave your feedback in all the appropriate places, Facebook uh, and the Skype group. Uh, and also you can leave comments um, on the blog. So until next time.